Earth, The Book, A Visitor's Guide to the Human Race is a 2010 humor book written by John Stewart and other writers of The Daily Show, and is a sequel to America, The Book. Synopsis Written in the past tense, the book's stated purpose is to serve as a Baedeker travel guide for an alien civilization that discovers Earth after humanity has died out, most likely by its own hands. As such, Earth the book attempts to chronicle the history of the planet and the human race from the beginning to the present day, and also tries to explain human concepts and emotions such as love and work. For its alien readers, the book follows a similar format to America the book, being written in the style of a textbook and featuring many images, including visual gags. One controversial visual gag in America was a Photoshop image of the United States Supreme Court justices nude. A similar gag appeared in Earth, which was an illustration of human anatomy that featured a nude man, one half of the man depicting Larry King. Topic: <laughs> Table of Contents. To our alien readers, to our human readers, CH1 Earth, CH2 Life, CH3 Man, CH4 The Life Cycle, CH5 Society, CH6 Commerce, CH 7. Religion CH. 8. Science CH. 9. Culture Afterward Appendix A. Final scores Appendix B. Why we're not here Appendix C. What we left out Acknowledgements Credits Topic Reception Keith Staskovich of Entertainment Weekly gave the book an A, praising it as the devil's dictionary for a new generation, and concludes that the book's humor and writing style might lead the reader to conclude that this would actually be a fairly comprehensive guide for extraterrestrial visitors, adding just so long as they have a sense of humor. As of December 5, 2010, Earth the book had spent 10 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. For 4 weeks it was number 1 on the hardcover nonfiction list. On February 13, 2011, Earth the book was awarded a Grammy at the 2011 53rd Annual Grammy Awards for Best Spoken Word Album. Topic. See also America the book I am America and so can you I am a pole and so can you America again, re-becoming the greatness we never weren't <laughs>